this plot is Wooly Pod Vetch. Wooly Pod Vetch is, in my opinion, Dale, it's it's the best vetch to be spring planted uh, because it is a spring annual, unlike Harry Vetch, which is a winter annual. So it doesn't really need to vernalize to give you the full growth, but it's a very cold hardy spring annual. So it really gets off to a fast start. Uh, is a tr tremendously prolific blooming plant, as you can see here from this April 9th planting. Uh, we've got a lot of growth, we've got a lot of blossoms, so this is a fantastic crop for bees. Uh, it's a fantastic crop for nitrogen production. So if you don't get hairy vetch planted in the fall, I would rather see woolly pod vetch planted in the spring rather than hairy vetch. Uh, they, other than that, the plants look very, very similar. Uh, the main difference is one is a spring annual, one is a winter annual. Uh, Cost-wise, they're about the same, so you're going to have about the same amount of investment in it. But for a spring-planted vetch plot, uh, we really like the woolly pot. Yeah, and one advantage it has over some of the other uh, options for spring planting in a legume is is this vetch vininess, I guess, for lack of a better term. Um, it makes a very, you can see how the plants just interlock together. Um, when this is, is either spray terminated or roller crimped, this melts down and forms an interlocked mat that's just a dream to plant through. Uh, this makes a very, very good no-till seed bed. Uh, both conventional and organic farmers, uh, depending on whether you, you terminate it with a herbicide or if you terminate it with a roller crimper, um, just makes a very good mat for suppressing weeds, locking in moisture, and releasing nitrogen throughout the growing season. How much of a problem, Dale, would this be to plant straight into and then try to crimp it or terminate it later? Is that going to wrap up on stuff? Uh, it, it certainly could. Yeah. <laughs> I would, uh, but there are an awful lot of people who have modified their equipment yeah. to where they can plant green, yeah. and they seem to be very happy. So, if, so. You, if you're going to plant into something like this, you would want to just take your row cleaners completely off. You want nothing with teeth that spins. Yeah. Yeah, but, but yeah, so if you would roll this down first, then you could probably go in it with uh, a spoke tooth closing wheel and stuff like that. Yeah, a lot of people will put a, a roller crimper on the front of the tractor mm -hmm. and, and just mash it all down flat and no-till right into that. Makes a very effective non-herbicidal, no-till sort of planting system and very effective.